Hello YouTube, this is Inheritance Freak 127 coming back at you with a brand new updated version of my spawn video. So a lot of people have been having issues with it and so therefore I decided to make an update on it. The reason why I believe it does not work anymore is that the script is probably outdated, it does no longer work. So I hope what I'm going to show you guys today works. Um, what I am going to use though, I do not take credit for it. The, cr the creator goes to F9MX for the script. I will have that in the description. Make sure you give credit to him. Credit to him. So basically it's going to be the kind of the exact same way. Just a little bit different. And so basically we'll go through all the uh, t uh, steps like before. So first thing first is that you want to find the spawn. So let's go up to model. Then you base one click on the spawn. So I always use two for all my bases. So one, two, as you can see. All right. So since this is going to be my group spawn, actually, let's yeah, that'd be fine. So as you can see here, do exactly what I have in appearance. So whatever color you want your brick color to be, change it to that. Now I'm just showing sure that uh, that way you guys understand what you need to do. Make sure neutral is off. Then when you come to team color, make sure the team color is the exact same color as the uh, as the brick color of the spawn. Um, this is the first word. You can turn this off if you want to. Basically, for 10 seconds, it keeps the force word on. You can turn it up high. You turn it down low. Put that zero and won't be on at all. Okay. And you're more than welcome to stop anytime you want to. So that way you can just follow along. Okay. So now this is the later spawn. As you can see, the brick color here is dark stone gray. Just showing you guys again what it should look like. On your side and again make sure neutral is off make sure the team color is the exact same brick color as the spawn is okay so then once you do that go down to teams now if you don't have teams all you have to do is click on the teams tab click on that and then you can just click on that and it'll add it to it automatically so let's go to the first one. So this is the latest spawn. So the team code should be Donkstone Gray. All assignable needs to be on. Okay. And then here's just the main group spawn. So auto assignable is off. Name. And as you can see here, team color is the exact same bit color as it was for the spawn. So then once you do that, you want to add this, which is already in here. Like I said, I'll put this in the description so you can find it. Click on it. So now, you'll have two of these right here. You don't need both of them. You just need one. You know, just backspace and you'll be fine. And then basically what you want to do is add in your group ID if you don't know how to do that. It's right here in the URL these numbers right here alrighty so then once you do that you want to make sure the brick color of your group spawn is the exact same thing that states in here so since mine is very blue that's what I'm going to use alright once you do that X out go over the file Publish to what works as. Now, since this is for my group, you go to. It would say it would say my games then the groups I'm in. So be this one. Click on that one. Click on it again. When you see a blue check mark, click over that, and I'll automatically say everything that you have done. But I don't have to do that. So now let's test it out. Make sure it actually works. And then once I get down on here, 
I'm gonna get a team. I mean, my bad. Uh, studio get on alternate account so that way you guys know it actually works. So as you can see here, I have been placed on the proper spawn that I need to be on. Okay, so now let's get out of here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to this game again. And once I join in, I should be on the later spawn. So I really hope this video has helped you guys out. I do apologize for not answering all your questions. I hope this has helped you out. Um, I know some people have asked me.